Hello, and welcome to another series of Let's Play. This time I'm gone way back into 1998 to bring you this Douglas Adams classic. I'm talking about Starship Titanic. Let's play. Now you start off in a beautiful view of your living room. And over this way you can view your TV and Douglas Adams telling you to get on with it. For heaven's sake, get on with it! Oh, go on, don't just sit there. Thank you, Douglas Adams, you're a genius. Now, you'll see that you have a computer. Now, when your pointer sparkles like that, it means that you can do something to touch it. Oh, look, you can open up the CD-ROM tray. Now, when you slide your mouse over something that you can grab or drag and drop, do so. Take the CD that's marked Titanic, drag it, and drop it into the tray. The rest will do whatever it needs to do on its own. And we're going to play Starship Titanic. And wow, the sound effects are great. Holy crap! Earthquake! Oh my god, if this, if this is the game, man. Let's talk about your stunning 3D graphics. Look, there's a giant ship that came crashing through my house. That's an awesome game. Oh, and listen to the sound. Total surround sound. It puts you right into the battle and right into the action. It's like you're being there. And, well... Sound effects are good. It's like I'm right there. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Tidy as you go. Tidy as you go. Uh, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Oh, yes. My name is Fintable. I am the doorbot serving on this the maiden voyage of the Starship Titanic. The Starship ship Titanic. Possibly, uh, go wrong. Now, as you can see, the ship, this thing you see behind me, well, we've had a little accident. Don't worry. No harm done. Just a little scratch to the paintwork, I think. Luckily, your house was quite soft. I realize this is a bit of an imposition, but we need you urgently. Will you help? Uh, yeah, I can help. I guess. Hello? I don't have anything else Will to help? do. Yes, Hello? I said yes. Yes, yes. Oh, silly me. Oh, strange, deluded, benighted me. You'll need your personal electronic thing. My what? Call it a pet. Oh, a pet. Oh, okay, now I can sure say yes. Figure it out. All you need to do now is type in yes, meaning that you will help, and we can get going. That's yes, Y-E-S. Well, I don't have anything. Ah, type right. Better to do, so... I'm afraid yes. we don't have an odd way to spell it, but that will do fine. You won't regret it. Well, maybe you will, but let's get you on board anyway. Anything else you want to say or ask, just type. Not now, not now. We've got to get you on board. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, look. A what? nice picture of oh, the picture, sky yeah, above your house. There's a sky How above my house. Nice. You should take that with you, you know. Well, I, I intended to. Now, how you grab and dra drag and drop items into your inventory is you pick oh, it up... Oh, dear, I can see you're new to having Oops. giant interstellar cruise liners crashing into your house. Here, let me show you. Well, I already know how to do it, dude. Oh, thank you. You're going to show me how to do that. Good. The way this trip is going, it may be the last time you'll ever see that particular view. Come on. Okay, if you insist. I was going to show you exactly how you do that, but then you, there's plenty of things to drag and drop into your inventory. Oh, now I'm going up. Up into the ship. The ship that cannot possibly go wrong, Starship Titanic. Okay, now what? It's our maiden voyage, you see, but the ship has, well, it's lost its mind, and so has most of its crew, including me. <laughs> Though I do have my lucid moments. Well, I'm sure you do. I well, wish I knew yeah. if this was one of them. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, look. Things are going from bad to worse. I can't even find the buttons now. Can you help me? I top guess. Button. The top Tell one? Me, sorry. It's my cell point settings, you see. Well, I don't suppose you do see, but it is my cell point settings anyway. Well, you'll see it soon enough. The cell Evacation point settings... Going up. The cell point Human settings he's talking about. Oh, shit. Yes, well, of course, one's heard mixed reports. 
I just hope that you can sort out these problems, because none of us can. We're all robots, you see, and what's happened is that the ship's central intelligence has been lobotomized, sabotaged, if you ask me, and it's left us all unable to function properly, and you may find that we're all a little doolally. I know that I am, so it's all going to be up to you. As soon as we reach the embarkation lobby, press the button on the plinth, and we'll be on our way. Then go and see Marcinta. She's the desk bot, and a bit of a dragon when her setting the wrong. She'll check you in. All I've managed to secure for you is a super galactic traveler class room, but I'm sure you will manage. You can always ask Marcinta for an upgrade, but be ready to duck. You'll meet Craig the bellbot, who should take you to your room if he's functioning properly. Then once you've settled in and made yourself comfortable, you'll be able to get on with working out what's gone wrong and fixing it. Lobby. Ah, here we are. I think we're about to take off again, but I'm sure that nobody's in control. I'd better go down again to secure things, but I'll be back a bit later to help you if I can. I hope you understood most of that. For oh, yes. Six. Oh, yes, I understood every now. word. Good luck. Don't forget to press the button. I won't forget. The cell point settings he was talking about that I tried to get out otherwise, but he kept talking my ear off, was... Will be uh, will be covered in a uh, uh, later on in the game. But anyway, this is the plinth he's talking about. And in order to begin the game, you cannot go any further until you push this button and view the stunning opening credits for the game Starship Titanic. <laughs> Douglas Adams features Starship Titanic, the ship that cannot possibly go wrong. In which you, the passenger, have been abducted on board after your house has been crushed by the Starship Titanic, and it is now your job to find out what has gone wrong with the ship and fixing it so that way it cannot possibly go wrong again. Yes, I know nobody likes a smartass, but I am posting this on YouTube, and in which sense I have to be a smartass, because how else can I make it funny? We hope you've enjoyed the credits, and we now return you to your regularly scheduled gameplay. And it's all there is to it. That's the opening sequence. And now the lights are on, and you now have full reign to the Starship Titanic. So, this is Marcinta Drubish, the desk bot. So push her button. No, literally, push her button. Welcome, guest number, uh, one, to the most glamorous galactic cruise ship experience in the whole of the space-time continuum, the Starship Titanic, the ship that cannot possibly go wrong. Ha! My name's Drubish. Marcinta Drubish. I am the desk bot. Do you have a reservation? Uh, no. I thought not. But I see that Fentable thinks we should take you on board. Ha! Soft-hearted fool. I don't see that you're going to be any help. As far as I'm concerned, you're just a freeloader. Ah, oh, well. Better get you checked in. What sort of breakfast would you like in the morning? Continental or the full porky? Hmm. I'll take the continental. Huh, Thank you. Good choice. Newspaper? The Barontan bugle? The trumpet? Saxophone? Kazoo? Tough choice. I will take the trumpet. Okay. How do you like your room? With a view? Yes. Okay. Corner or balcony? Mmm, corner. Hmm, good choice. Bed. Imperial? Royal? Presidential? Despotic? Um, uh, royal. I want to be treated like a king. King size? Queen size? Prince? Princess? Princess plus? Actually, do you have one in gesture? I want it to be red and green, have bells on it, and have the ends curling up. Oh, well, I guess you don't have that. I'll, uh... King size is fine. Constitutional or absolute? Absolute. That may that may mean that uh, they may include a bottle of vodka with it. Hmm. Good choice. Fish. Yes. Thought so. Separate or en suite? Mmm. Give it to me en suite. Good. Well, you certainly won't like the room you've got then. You've been assigned to Super Galactic Traveler Class Elevator One, Floor Twenty Nine. Room 18. 
And don't come whining to me for upgrades, because you won't get one. Craig! Belmont, to the embarkation lobby. Hi, I'm Craig. I'm your bellbot today. Hey, I see you're not carrying any luggage. No. That's great. I can take a little time off right oh, away. Well, good. And I see your super galactic traveler class. So I guess you can find your own way to your room. The door's over there. The elevator's around someplace. Relax, stay cool, enjoy. Thank you, Craig, for being so lazy. I'll be sure not to call upon you later on. Well, anyway, the cell point settings that they're talking about are right over here, these dials. Anytime you talk to a robot, their cell point settings will appear here. Now, when they're in the red, that means that they are a little nutty. Maybe even a little bit uh, malfunctioned, so, we should, so to say. But let's go ahead and check out our room. To do so, let's go through this door. We regret to announce that the ship is hurtling out of control through hyper Never mind about the uh, background noise that you're hearing right now from the uh, PA system, because it doesn't really matter in this game. What we want to do before we go to our room is to go into the most despised room that any of the crew members on the Starship Titanic will tell you it is the worst room. I'm talking about the parrot room, and nobody likes this parrot. I don't know why. I think parrots are awesome. So what you want to do is you want to take the room right here that I just dragged and dropped over into my designer room numbers. And you'll notice that these room numbers are marked by chevrons. Some are lit, some are not lit. The ones that are lit will spell out the locations. Let me go to one that actually does have a location on it. And these chevrons, when they're lit in a certain sequence, will basically translate into Super Galactic Traveler Class, Floor 29, Elevator 1, Room 18. And that's what that means. So now, let's go ahead and check out the rest of the ship, and we'll come back to this room later. Then, Buster. Missing you already? I don't think. Ha <laughs> ha! Now you know why people hate the parrot. So now, we're out to find elevator one. So let's find elevator one first. Take a couple of paces this way. What elevator are you? Four. We don't need to be here. So let's go all the way around to the proper elevator. That's elevator one, right here. This is elevator two. We're going to elevator one. Let's call the elevator by pressing the call button right here on your remote thingamy. Good day to you, sir, madam all thing, and a great deal better than some of the days we've been having recently. Indeed, my old trouble has quite cleared up, so that it will be a pleasure to attend to your vertical transportation requirements. Well, thank you very much. And you can see that this is one of the few bots that actually have proper cell point settings. Because you notice now, these dials are in the yellow zone, which means functionability. Now, I can't quite remember all of the things about my room right away, so I'm going to look over here and say, Floor 29. So let's go back to the type of my thingy, Bob, and type in Floor 29. Floor 29 at your service. Or you could type in the number 29. He knows what you're talking about. Now he takes you all the way down to your class. And here we are at floor 29. Floor, Thank you. Let's leave and try to find our room, which is room 18. Now these rooms are paired off in threes. That's room, room one, two, three, then up here, four, five, six, and then way at the top, seven, eight, nine. I think that's the way they do it, but let's just check just to make sure. Go over here. What room is this? Where are we located? What are we standing in front of? What room is this? Elevator room four. Okay, so, okay, let me just make sure I have this right. Because I've never had a room 18 before. That's kind of ridiculous. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on the top there. So wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh wait, one, two, three, and then these ones, four, five, six. Then you go, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15 up there, 16, 17, 18 is way over here. So what you gotta do is walk up to this door, hang a right, go inside this elevator, hit the top floor. Yeah. 
And right into your room. Congratulations. You may have already won an upgrade. Please turn to Channel 3 for details. Channel 3, you got it. Well, where's the TV? Where's the bed? Where's the table? Where's everything else? Where's the toilet? They gotta give you a toilet, even in Super Galactic Traveler class. Well, they do have all those things. As you can see, these icons down here do have everything that every hotel room needs, even a vase with flowers in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open certain aspects of this room to get the bed to pop out so that we can watch the TV, because we can't watch TV without springing up onto a bed. So let's start off with this table. Now, to get it to activate, you click the picture, then you click the switch. And there you have your table. Now, let's click this thing now. And that should open up that. Okay, now we have some leverage for a bed to pop out, so where is the bed? Well, there's one picture of a bed here, and a picture of a bed here. But one of them is in relaxation mode, the other one is in flat mode. So let's go ahead and spring out the bed in its earliest form. There it is. Now, activate the bed. Now, television. Now you can get into bed, I think. Oh, wait, what am I missing here? What am I missing? Let's see. Those? Nope, you can't open those because something's blocking it. Oh, yeah, and look at the vase. See? Vase. Oh, we can switch that off and take it back into the back there. All right, so now I think that this needs to be... I never had to put that, pull that out, but... Anyway, let's go ahead and turn that off, because I don't need to pull that out. Okay, I do believe there's something else that needs to come out of there. In order to make the bed sturdy... Is it this? No, it isn't that. Oh, here it is. Now we can get into the bed. Okay, that's what I was looking for. So now, what you need to do is get onto the bed. Now, you'll notice that this has turned into a magnifying glass, so now you can view it. Now, to control the TV. We are going to go and highlight the telly. And these up and down arrows will give you channel selection. This is the power switch. It's confusing, but you'll get the hang of it. Channel 3, you say. No, that's going down. I don't need to go down, I need to go up. So this is channel one. Channel two. That gives you the temperature of the ship and the pollen count. Here's channel three. Super Galactic Traveler, this could be your luck, luck, lucky day. Yes, you may already have won an upgrade to second class and a whole new world of luxury. You may collect your complimentary in-flight magazine from the succubus in your SGT lobby. If the coupon on page two has lucky number 35279 on it, then you are just one step away from a travel experience most bipeds can only dream about. Take the magazine to the embarkation lobby, and our helpful desk staff will delight in upgrading you. Okay, so turn that off. Click away from there, jump off the bed, out the door you go. Oops, where's the buttons at? This way. Hit the bottom button to get back down onto the ground floor. And now let's get it out of here. Now, the uh, this room over here you're going to have to revisit sometime when you got the hammer. Is the relaxation sitting room where you can get a large stick but you can't break it yet. You don't have the hammer. You can also change the music. You can actually sit here and enjoy the picture and click on the picture to make the music change and the expression on the picture will change as well. There you go. You've just enjoyed the picture. So now face the door and exit. Our next stop right here. This is called a succubus. This is the ideal transport of goods throughout uh, the entire ship. Every floor has a succubus. So here's how it works. You click the window. I sucking and blowing. Thank you, Mr. Parrot. 
Now, you got these two buttons over here, send and receive. Since we don't have anything yet, we're going to have to receive because he's got our magazine. <laughs> so now we're going to take the tube and it becomes the magazine. And like the uh, announcement said, we're going to take the magazine to the embarkation lobby. So let's go there now. We're going to call the elevator, which should still be there. Morning, or whatever. Okay, now there are two different ways that you can I say you top floor. A military man, military woman thing? No. Nah, silly of me. Let's keep it simple. I yep. goes up, I goes down. Which is it to be? Uh, I need to go up, so how do you say you want to go to the top floor? Well, you could either say one or top of the well. But if you don't want to yes, type all that, the well it is. then just say one. He will know exactly what top of the well is, which is floor one. And it's a lot easier to type if you ask me than top of the well. But it's up to you. You don't get any extra points for typing the whole thing in or by cutting top corners. Water. From here, you can walk to your requested destination. Well, thank you, Mr. Liftbot. Now, we need to go... Is this where? No, I don't think. This is not where we need to go, is it? Yes, it is. Okay, so here's the embarkation lobby. Now, go up to Marcinta Drubish and ring her bell. I know it sounds perverted, but bear with me. And how are we today, dear passenger? I'm fine, Marcinta. Yes, well, you're obviously confusing me with a desk bot who gives a damn. Bing bong. Nice, nice manners, lady. So what you're going to do now is going to go into your personal baggage, or a.k.a. your inventory, and give her the magazine. Oh, I do wish they wouldn't do this. It's very bad for passenger discipline. Oh, very well, let me see. I've assigned you to a second-class stateroom, room two, floor 26, in which you will reach by elevator two. Don't get drunk in the bar, don't annoy the musicians, don't fiddle with the pellerator, don't touch the artwork, and if you go up to the promenade deck, don't stuff the woodwork. Thank you for there telling you me the rules. And it's better than you deserve. Well, thank you for that attitude, lady. I'll be sure to give you an extra lump of coal in your stocking this Christmas. Well, that's getting you started on Starship Titanic. I'm going to check out the video to see how well we turned out. And keep tuning in over here to more Let's Play, and I'm going to take you way back in time with some of these games, because I'm an old fogey who loves his old school games. So tune in on the next episode, we will go to our second class room suite, and we will also check out and see what other I items that we can pick up, and to help fixing the ship, and all that other stuff that goes with it. So tune in next time, won't you? Actually, you can actually... Uh kind of witness something here. This is how you save the game. Now, you need to go where the triangle points to this floppy disk. So, select an empty state, overwrite it, and say, going to second class room, or going to second class. Just type in what describes what you're going to do. Hit save. And now, you can exit if you wish. And there you have it. Starship Titanic has begun. Thank you for watching, and Remember, I'm going to be making you my special friend. Ciao!